police are continuing their investigations into the Thursday, May 9th shooting death of Melbourne Francis near the Sticket in Longlook East End. Police detectives investigating the case are yet to disclose a motive for the crime. The Police Information Office says the detectives are not willing to speculate and all lines of inquiry are being followed because at times the reason behind the crime can be less obvious. Police say they are particularly keen to speak to all persons who were present at the scene on the night of the shooting and are asking for those who witnessed the incident or who may have information about the perpetrator or perpetrators to come forward with that information. Detective Inspector Adrian Kartik of the Major Crime Team has stressed the importance of receiving eyewitness reports as early as possible. Kartik says the police are encouraged by those who have already come forward and provided information. He said the likelihood of a successful arrest is greater when police have the evidence they need at an early stage. The police say all information provided will be held in confidence. Reports described one man wearing dark clothing with a hoodie and a mask seen fleeing the murder scene around the time of the shooting in the direction of the Church of God of Prophecy in Long Look. Other reports suggest that there may have been more than one assailant also dressed in dark clothing. Police say they suspect a tinted vehicle may have been scouting the area prior to the incident. 30-year-old Melbourne Francis of Long Look was pronounced dead around 10 p.m. on May 9th near the sticket where he was shot. Melbourne Francis escaped a previous attempt on his life when he was shot and wounded on March 13, 2011 at Nottingham Estate in East End. He was due to testify in court on this matter involving Rodney Simmons Jr. and Yann Edwards who are charged with, con with conspiracy to murder him.